What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case you're new and in this video we're going to be going over I, I never really know what to call these. We're going to call them like a small trading account recap challenge thing um, it, It's become like a little bit of a tradition thing that I do every year almost I think I started it back in 2018 uh, just to kind of give a little bit of a background for those of you that are new here and haven't seen those other videos, what I do, the way I operate as the kind of person that I am is I always like to just like save, save, save and just account for just rainy days, I guess, if you will. So the way I work is if I have $11,000, I tell myself I have 10. So at the end of the year, I like to, I guess you call it like cleaning up shop. I like to consolidate and like condense all my accounts and everything at the end of the year. And I do that with my trading account included. So before I transfer everything out, I look at my total account balance and let's say I have, let's just for a random number, 50,800. Well, I only have 50,000. That's what I tell myself. And then I transfer out the 50,000. I leave the 800 there as like, oh, okay. I just, I forget about it type deal. However, it became a little bit of a tradition for me or starting in 2018 that I decided to do a small account challenge with it and said, let's just trade with that amount of money on the last week or two of the, of the year of the month of December and see what we can make out of it. And I just figured I did it again. I might as well just make a little video to follow up on it. And that's what we're going to be going over here. So if you didn't catch those other videos, please, after this video, go watch them. If you did, then welcome back to another one and let's jump into it here. We're going to jump over to the account screen here and oh i almost forgot i gotta switch it out i have this there we go okay you guys should be able to see the thing i normally try to keep you guys like low here hello it's me again um however i notice it's blocking the numbers here so let me get myself out of the way there we go so we what, what happened here we're messing i'm messing up some trades all right here we go i gotta put it back i'm like wait a minute i'm missing a few of my trades here i did a little more than that put it back to the 20th i think it was the 21st yeah the 21st is when it started uh, well, I mean, technically the 17th, but I closed it out on the 21st. So let me put it back to the 17th here just in case because, you know, somebody's going to say, well, what's on the 17th that you closed out that you don't want us to see? So here we are now on the 17th. All right. So it started with this, the Netflix trade here. Like I said, on the 17th, I got into the trade. Now, what I did here on this account is by the time I transferred out the majority of the money that's in the account, the little odd sum that was left was like 960 some dollars. So it was a little bit less than a thousand dollars. And by the end of it, I turned it into a little over 3,500. So that this is what we're going to basically break down here is, I guess, how I did that, how I turned 900 some dollars into a little over 3,500. I guess I just finally came up with the title of the video here. Um, so first one, like I said, was Netflix. This trade, I put in $769 here, and then I held it for a few days, and then I sold it for a 32% profit, which is, I guess, if you look at it on a dollar scale, is 249 then from there, the next trade was, I believe it was the Affirm one. Here we go. Yeah, Affirm. And with Affirm, I got into the trade on the 22nd, which would be the next day. And then I closed out the entire trade just in different portions on the next day. So this was also an overnight trade on this particular one as well. I got into all of them all at the same price. It's just that I sold them all differently throughout the day. For example, I sold one batch, like half of it, let's say, right when the market opened and then a little bit more throughout the day. But ultimately, the entire trade, that's why it's kind of, you know, has a little plus sign there just in case anyone's new here, um, just to kind of show you the different portions of the trade. But ultimately, the entire trade on the second trade, we put in a little less than 1,200 here and then we sold it for 2300 which is a almost 100% profit. We basically doubled our money on that trade there and made a $1,130 profit there. And then from there, the next trade was TTD. On TTD, it was also another few, I guess, segments to the trade, another overnight style trade. I got into that one on the 27th. And then I closed out some of it the next day on the 28th. And then a little more on the following day after that. So it's basically like you got into the trade, you sold half of it the next day, and then you just you decided to hold the other half until the next day after that, and then you sold it out. So I guess it, uh, it kind of goes to serve the purpose of showing you guys you can do really a lot of things with the trading world. You know, you can do day trading, you can do swing trading, you can do a variation of both. You can hold some overnight, you can hold them for a few months, few days. You know, however you guys want to do it. I'm just trying to point out all the different variations that you guys can see here. But anyways, let me kind of like condense it here and give you guys the whole enchilada of that TTD trade. And basically that TTD trade, we put 2000 in and by the end of it, 
we sold it all for a profit of 1,700. Basically, we sold it for 3,700 there. And that's pretty much where it kind of ended. That's where I decided that I was going to, you know, call it. All right, we're pretty much right at the end there. Uh, it was the 29th. Um, but I did do one more trade on the Affirm. And this one was kind of like a lotto trade. I'm trying to think of a better way to formulate it. Um, if, for example, if you're not familiar with the terminology that I use, a lotto trade is a trade in which you are expecting, not expecting, but willing to let the entire trade go to zero. Now, if you're new here, please don't go too far with that idea because you should never really be willing to let your trades just go to zero. You know, I teach people to have a plan and go based on that plan. However, there are certain types of trades and strategies and scenarios in which it would warrant, you know, saying, all right, you just put a little bit in and yeah, it'll all go to zero. But if it doesn't, then it can turn into, you know, something else. So for that little definition, I guess, a little example, those are lotto trades. So basically that's what I did is on the 31st, basically the last trade of the year, last day of the year, I put in a little lotto trade 262 is all I put into the trade. Now, if I want to be the person that, you know, tries to give myself a little more credit than I deserve, I'm going to say it was actually a profit. I just got a little greedy, you know, because it was the last trading day of the year. I said, all right, cool. Let me, because it was up at a, a good 50% throughout that day. And then it ended up reversing on me, which obviously I should have known better. Uh, but again, you know, that's what we're, that's why it's a lotto trade. You see what I'm saying, guys? So it's like, I wanted to mainly put more emphasis on this trade because of the fact that I want you guys to understand what justifies a lotto trade and what doesn't. And the fact that we treat a lotto trade significantly different than we treat every other kind of a real trade. And that this one was just kind of like a, all right, well, let's see what we do. Throw a blind dart in the dark type of an idea. Um, but that's really it, guys. I didn't want to get too crazy on this video here. But anyways, we're going to wrap it up here. I just kind of wanted to give you a little trade breakdown, trade account recap, whatever you call it. We basically turned 9600 and some dollars into a little over 3500 You guys saw all the trades here. Well, you didn't see them here. I'll just kind of end it with them on here one more time for you guys. But this was basically it. We had a total of four trades. So the reason I brought you guys back is because I just want to also emphasize the fact that you don't have to trade a million times in a day. This is two weeks worth of trades, but it's only four trades if you see here. Because you have to be very selective with your trades. So now we'll end it on that note. Let me put myself back at least while I'm doing this little outro. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please hit the thumbs up if you did. If you didn't enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up as well. And then let me know in the comments what you didn't like about it. And that's pretty much it.